finally time to do a review on the Fisher Traverse Carbon Boot. It is puking snow outside right now and I thought this would be a great time before I go out and ski to just go over what my thoughts are uh, on this boot after using it for a couple months now. And I've been in it in all sorts of conditions and trains so I feel like I can give it an honest opinion. Um, just go over the quick features on this. It's called the Traverse Carbon because there's a carbon sole. That's the only carbon in the boot. The rest of it's Gorilla Mid plastic. That's just supposed to help with power transfer. Transfer and as lighter you go in boots, you get you can get some kind of lateral flex in the boot. Um, hard to notice, but the boot itself is super light. Fisher's claiming 980 grams for their their stock size, their 26 26 and a half shell. I found that I just weighed this and it's actually 60 grams more, uh, 1,040 grams. Not sure where that difference comes from. Anyway, the basic features: nice toe bail that works with both ice climbing crampons um, and aluminum crampons, BOA lace system, nice snug last. I feel like this last is a pretty forgiving last, meaning that if you have a wide foot, you'll be fine. If you have a narrow foot, you just crank down the dial. Big beefy power strap with one buckle to lock in or um, when you're in tour mode, just un uh, undo that. Give your calves a little bit of comfort and then your lockout mechanism for ski mode. Um, my favorite feature about this boot is the comfort and also that the range of motion is 80 degrees. And this is a lot. This is, compared to most touring boots, you'll find anywhere between 40 and 60 degrees, but 80 um, really helps on the uphill. Uh, and which skis are you gonna use this with? Well, this is gonna be good on your Hannibal series, your Transalp series. That's skis that are about 1200 grams and less. You know, with a lightweight touring boot, this is the hybrid, this is the sweet spot. This is your five hours out in the back country or all day out in the back country, multi days in the back country where weight is an issue. Um, you can always go lighter with a ski mountaineering racing boot and you can always go beefier with a more Alpine driven touring boot like the Transalp Pro. Um, but this is gonna be good for for, for me, in my experience in the White Mountains, this is like the 90% boot. This is the boot I'm gonna be using pretty much most every day, paired with um, a Hannibal Series ski or Transalp Series ski. Uh, lastly, I think like the, the durability is a big thing. I'm pretty hard on my equipment. Um, I've used these on boulder fields and um, going up rocks, looking at the toe inserts and everything, the BOA lace system, no issue so far. Um, this is a product that I fully endorse. Um, you know, for Fisher's first go around in a boot, a, their touring boot, I think they had some in, input from DinaFit in the design of this, but um, it's, hard to, it's hard to complain about it. You know, one thing would maybe be a little taller cuff and maybe a bit stiffer, which is hard to do. There's always gonna be a compromise or trade-off making a lightweight boot, but I really think they nailed it. Um, if you're interested in trying this boot and you're in the New England area, just send me a message, work something out. I got all sizes and it's really important that you try out a boot that you're gonna ski in all day, actually out in the mountains instead of just in the shop. So um, any questions, let me know. Fisher Traverse Carbon.